Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to speak your word. Use me, Father, and speak your mighty word through me. And let it fall on good ground. You know who this word is for. And I pray that they hear and receive it. And bless our spirits and our souls to be fed. Bless our understanding and all that we get. And we love you and we thank you and we praise you. And to you be all the praise and the honor and the glory forever. Don't let me say nothing that you don't want me to say. It's all you. I yield myself to you. And say everything that you want to say. In Jesus' name I pray. So, this um word is for the chosen ones. The remnant. And it is coming from um, Mark 16, Mark chapter 16. Okay. Now, this was about when... um, Jesus rose from Jesus after he was resurrected and rose from the grave. There are a lot of you who are getting ready to come forth from the grave. There are a lot of us who are arising from the ashes. There are a lot of us who people had given up on. They had counted us out. Not knowing that it was already preordained that we were going to get up and rise again. When Jesus rose from the dead, he showed himself to Mary Magdalene. Now, he didn't go and show himself to who you probably would have thought he wouldn't have showed himself to first. Because, see, he had walked with the 12 disciples. And so... You would have thought that as soon as he rose from the grave, that he would have went and showed himself to his people, you know, his crew, his right-hand men. But he didn't. He went and he showed himself to Mary Magdalene. So I said, you know, God, why did you, well, Lord, why did you show yourself to Mary Magdalene first? And this is the answer. He showed himself to Mary Magdalene first because she had experienced firsthand the resurrecting power of God. Mary Magdalene was a woman who had died spiritually. She had suffered a spiritual death. How? Because the word says that she was a possessed woman. She had seven demons living inside of her. Possessing her, running her life. So therefore she was no not herself. 
She wasn't her own. These demons was possessing her, running her life. But the moment she met Jesus and he cast those demons out of her, he, in essence, resurrected her from the grave, from the pits of Satan's grip. Uh, it goes on to say, and we're going to come back to Mary Magdalene, but it goes on to say that uh, I'm going to start reading it from one. And when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Salome, had brought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him. And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came unto the sepulchre and rising of the sun, at the rising of the sun. And they said among themselves, Who shall roll us away the stone from the door of the sepulchre? And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away, for it was very great. It was a big rock in front of the, the grave, the tomb. And entering into the sepulchre, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a long white garment, and they were affrighted. They was afraid. And he said unto him, Don't be afraid. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go your way. Tell his disciples and Peter that he go up before you into Galilee. There shall you see him as he said unto you. Eight. And they went out quickly and fled from the sepulcher. For they trembled and were amazed. Neither said they anything to any man, for they were afraid. Now, when this is verse 9. This is where my... The text that we coming from that they start from, but I'm just giving you the foreground. So now, when Jesus was risen early the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven devils. What I was speaking about, what what was said earlier, and she went and told them that had been with him as they mourned and wept. And they, when they had heard that he was alive and had been seen of her, believed not. They didn't believe Mary Magdalene. Ma, I need you to know that Ecclesiastes uh, is a scripture. Let me see. Hold on a second. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Forgive me. I had my scripture ready. Ecclesiastes 25 and 17 says, The wickedness of a woman changes her face and darkens her countenance like sackcloth. So, Mary Magdalene was possessed by seven demons. She was a wicked woman. She was under the power and control of wickedness. But when Jesus, so, so her face was changed, you know? So, we can therefore say that when Jesus went and cast out those devils out of her that the power, the resurrecting power of God changed her when it resurrected her from the grave of possession and sin. She didn't look the same no more. People didn't recognize her. I guarantee you, they didn't recognize her. 
All right, so the same thing happened with Jesus. They didn't recognize him after he rose from the grave. After the resurrecting power of the Most High God came upon him. They didn't believe it. So that's why he showed himself to Mary Magdalene first. Because she was a witness of it. Now the disciples walked with him every day. And they didn't believe. And I'm going to prove it to you because it's in the scripture. Verse 12 says, After that he appeared in another form unto two of them as they walked, and they went into the country. And they went and told it unto the residue. Neither believed they them. They still didn't believe. He went and showed himself to to two other, two other believers, two other witnesses. In another form, he he is levels to the glorification. He was going from glory to glory, and then to glory. For a say. Verse 14, after he appeared unto the eleven, as they sat afterwards, I'm sorry, he appeared unto the eleven, the, the disciples, as they sat at meat and upbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. Now these men walk with him every day. In some way, shape, form, or fashion. They was around him, with him. They followed him. It's written. They followed him. And when he was resurrected, they did not res recognize him. They didn't believe it. Why? Because their hearts had been hardened. So I just want you to know that to the chosen ones, when the resurrection power of God moves in your life and raises you up from the ashes, people not going to recognize you and they're not going to believe it. They're not going to recognize you. And they're not going to believe it. But what you do is keep going from glory to glory. And another thing he showed me was the word, the spelling of the word glory. G-L-O-R-Y. Glow. Get your glory glow on. And go on. Because after they didn't believe. He gave the great commission. Get your glow on. And go on. Into all the world. And preach the gospel to every creature. This is verse 15. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of our father. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. Hallelujah. So be encouraged. 
Be encouraged. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't think it's strange when they don't recognize you. After the resurrecting power of God moves through your life, moves upon you, and he glorifies himself through you in your life. Glow on. Glow on to glory. It's levels to the glorification process. These these same parable of scriptures is in another book. And it says that, you know, every time when he showed himself, when he he was changed into another form. He was glowing up. Every time he first when he appeared to, to Mary. You know. It the uh, when he appeared, then he went and uh, he changed forms again and appeared to the two. And, and then the other scriptures, uh, these same scriptures just wrote in another book. It was, it said that the disciples was talking. They were saying, didn't you notice how our hearts burned inside of us as he talked? They didn't recognize him physically, but their spirit bear witness. So don't worry about the ones who, who won't believe. Don't worry about the doubters. You keep going. You've been commissioned. Keep going. Keep going. Let him be glorified through you in your life. Okay, so be encouraged to him be all the glory, the honor and the praise forever and ever. Hallelujah. Be blessed. Thank you.